everyone, I'm Captain Logan. And I'm Vince. And it's time once again... To recommend things. Vince, what do you recommend today? A DVD set. I'm going to preface this. I'm not saying it's good. <laughs> I'm saying it's better than the other things that have come out before it. Is that like when, um, when a manufacturer puts out like some detergent or something and says 20% more? <laughs> like They don't say yeah. more of what, but you're like, it's better. Yes. And when I show you, you, you might know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about that Fantastic Four series. Reason being is that this is better than the, uh, the 90s Fantastic Four series. I'm assuming it's better than the 70s Fantastic Four series. I haven't seen it, but just in case you haven't, I'll tell you one thing. Human Torch is not in it because he's too dangerous. Herbie replaces the Human Torch. That's the 70s, so I assume that this is better. So, quick complaints. <laughs> Reasons why you shouldn't watch this. You're recommending it. I know. The reason why you shouldn't watch this is that it has a very anime feel. It's dumbed down to an extent to where you, where children will, uh, to where children will understand it. But uh, I'm sensing a theme. <laughs> but on, but that aside, it's very classic comic book type of feel. I mean, you watch it and you don't see that, but. Uh, Illustrated by the four painted on the human the human things chest painted on the things chest, but uh, yeah, and the voice acting isn't necessarily good. It's just it's more. Why am I recommending this? <laughs> but it's uh, <laughs> the plots are so classic comic book, and it's charming and it's fun. And if you can get past the first couple episodes, it's it's not. The first couple episodes are grating on the nerves. When I first saw it, I thought, this is garbage, so I didn't watch the rest of the series. But because I already have the other Fantastic Four box set, and the 60s Fantastic Four... Oh my goodness, I forgot the 60s. The 60s are the best. Check those out, but they're not on box set, so I can't recommend it. This is what you have available to you now if you're not into torrenting. <clears throat> but... <laughs> but, yes. So... It's, it's interesting. It, it has all the stuff that you would expect to be in the Fantastic Four. And it's, it's very sleek looking, despite the uh, anime S. Now, the anime art looks good, but they have designs for Johnny's, jo not Johnny Storm that just look weird. So, yeah. I'm reluctantly saying I enjoy this, and I recommend it so that you can get away from all of this uh, dark... Hoodaha in the comic book world, and just look at something that's uh, enjoyable, something that's fun, something that you don't necessarily have to sit there and go, hmm, I see what they're saying, or yeah, kill him. You see what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You that get is it. the most Forget about it. lukewarm <laughs> recommend ever. You know what? As a matter of fact, don't watch it. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> see if I care. It's going to be one of those things where like everyone watching this will so watch that now. They'll be like, wow, that might be awful. I'm going to watch that. <laughs> oh, right. God, that was funny. Uh, I'm going to recommend something that I kind of like. <laughs> it turns out. What? Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to recommend, um, and, and this is very odd for me because I usually don't like Star Trek books. I'm recommending a Star Trek book. I really am. I'm recommending a Star Trek book called To Reign in Hell, and this is by Greg Cox, and uh, this is all about Khan and where he and, and what he was doing between uh, Space Seed and Wrath of Khan. And uh, Greg Cox did the two-part uh, book series of the Eugenics Wars, which I also recommend. It's also really good. Um, I'm liking this better, actually. And um, it's... I figured it was going to be really boring because it's, you know, Khan... You know, Khan gets <coughs> marooned at the end of um, Space Seed in the original series. And then he just, you know, he's marooned. You don't figure you'll ever see him again. And then they were awesome and brought him back in Wrath of Khan, which is, you know, an amazing movie, by the way. And, um... And, you know, so this is you know, what, what what happened while he was, you know, marooned down on Seti Alpha 5. And you figure it would be kind of boring, you know, because he's, you know, he's down there, he's with his, you know, the people from the Botany Bay, and he's trying to build an empire out of a planet with no other people on it. And you figure it would be kind of boring. It's not. It's actually really, really enjoyable. Um, it's, uh, it's it's very adventure-y, and, um, and uh, Khan is great. This guy knows how to write Khan. Uh, he's giving he's giving Khan dialogue that you're you're like wow Ricardo Montalban would so say that like every time he opens his mouth it's like that is such a good line and I and, and, and it's great um 
The other cool thing about it is your trap novels are notorious for being fan servicey, and uh, the fan service in this is really good uh, because it brings up stuff that you really did kind of wonder about with Wrath of Khan. And once again, of course, not not canon, but interesting. So you know, it it it, it, ex it has a really great explanation for where the uh, Starfleet medallion came from that he's wearing um, throughout Wrath of Khan. Uh, I I really liked I really liked where they went with that. Um, there's a lot of fun stuff that kind of chronicles. Um, you know, the beginnings of things you saw in Wrath of Khan, you know, like the, the things that they put in people's ears and the crazy stuff like that. So anyway, um, if, you're, if, you're, if you're a Trek fan and you're kind of leery of Trek books, this is a really good one. So there you go. Um, that's what I'm recommending. And much less lukewarm than Vince. I actually really like this. <laughs> Maroon Alpha 5? Is that a band from the 90s? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no SETI no, Alpha 5. Oh, okay. Maroon and, and the SETI Alpha 5. One, one, one of these days, I'll, I'll get Vince to, to watch more Star Trek. Um, well, thanks everybody for watching us recommend things. Uh, we'll recommend something again for you next week. I'm Captain Logan. And I'm Vince, and I'll recommend something that I probably like next time. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. See you later.